And welcome back to another installment of the MLE Network. I am your host, Fresh, joined by my co-host and broadcaster, Bear. We have some massive Rocket League coming at you tonight. We have Master League, the second highest league that MLE has to offer. We have doubles. It, it's doubles. I don't know how to hype that up. And <laughs> we have the Blizzard, the reigning Blizzard, who made had seven teams out of or out of eight teams seven of them made playoffs they're just an absolute force to be reckoned with versus the lightning we have a division rivalry at hand there yeah exactly right and with a divisional rivalry like this you've got to be ready just for an absolute brawl we are about to see the fights the fights fresh that are about to go on here are going to be ridiculous it's just so enthusiastic. It's making me enthusiastic just to watch how the match is going to play out. I'm super excited for it. I'm sure you are too. Yes, yeah, sparks will fly, demolitions will happen. Teams, one of these teams is going home in tears, having made it to the conference finals. The winner of this goes on to the grand finals, and I don't believe that the grand finals opponent has been decided yet. But the, it's this is do or die. This is it. Everything is on the line. One of these teams goes on to grand finals. One of these teams goes home. The players are joining. The engines are revving. We have four on the field, five on the clock, two on the countdown. Let's get right into it here. As the Blizzard are going to take us off here in the white cars and the lightning in the blue. Blaster is going to lose this to Goldfish. Goldfish going to try and get the scoring started off early, and he does. He puts that in over the last defender in the Lightning, starting off very, very quickly. Yeah, Fresh, we are just 11 seconds into this match, and we are already seeing a play from Goldfish on the Lightning here, trying to make an early impact and make sure that the Lightning ends up on top, and so far they're doing great at that. Well, lightning strikes extremely fast and is hotter than the surface of the sun. But the blizzard get an equalizer floater roller all the way down the opposite side. And it's been seven seconds and they've scored twice already. Bear, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Yeah, it's a little bit nerve-wracking already having... We're barely 15 seconds in and both teams already scored. We said that it was going to be a brawl and so far it's proving true. The fact that so many have been scored already is crazy and we almost just saw another one coming out from the Blizzard. So just just wow, it's, it's amazing how exciting this match has gotten. Yes, the nerves are definitely high-flying in this series. The, the, the series record between these two teams have faced each other in the league play regular season is one and one. The Lightning have taken a series and the Blizzard have taken a series, but the Lightning are going to take a second goal and Goldfish is going to put this one home. Yeah, Goldfish for his second shot and goal of the night uh, with the assist from Richard actually, but just a, it was just a great goal. I mean, you, there's not much to say about that. Lightning, though, trying to strike fast and quick and get the early lead here in this ML doubles match. And Blaster here gets a touch to the side wall, waiting and baiting in the Lightning. Goes off the backboard, can't quite get the read there. Lightning are going to try and go for a second backboard read. Blaster's going to touch this out to the mid. Richard is bad, is up off the ceiling, can't get a second touch, and the Blizzard knock it all the way down the other end and leave Richard going for boost. Brandon's going to try and beat the last defender. Richard's going to knock it to the corner. Blaster desperately looking for an opportunity to go up, and here he gets it. Tries to put it far 90. Goldfish is there to make the save. Puts it out to the mid-third. Brandon is going to try and control this along the wall, but he gets a missed touch, and Brandon, I don't know, Bear, Brandon's looking a little shaky. Maybe it's the nerves. Maybe it's the pressure. Maybe it's a little bit of both. Yeah, I can't quite say what it is that's getting Brandon these nerves. However, he is up off the wall now, going for a double touch, but Goldfish is going to knock it away. Blaster to keep it in play and Brandon having to rush back to the ball to get the save and he does it He does get the save Richard now is gonna try and put it mid for his teammate But this match so far. I mean you mentioned it. it it's just back and forth Even though the scores two to one we're seeing plenty of action on both sides of the field as Brandon gets an amazing challenge there Oh, and it's just a near miss off the corner Blaster can't get back to it, and Goldfish is going to try and clear this out. The Blizzard still maintaining possession, but Brandon not getting that boost. Gets demoed by Goldfish. 
Richard gets an awkward pop out to the mid. He's trying to bait Blaster in, beats him, but Blaster gets the bump, and the Blizzard regain possession, but they're back in their own third. Here comes Brandon, trying to get a touch out. Goldfish can't quite get an opportunity. He decides to take their boost instead. Goes for a demo, but Brandon avoids it. And the Blizzard playing very patiently, looking for more quality over quantity of shots. The Blizzard right now, the shots are even. The Blizzard are only down a shot from the Lightning, but the Lightning are up by a goal. And that's what's all the difference that it makes. The scoreline doesn't, the scoreline is the only thing that matters in this game. Points don't matter. Your positioning matters a lot more than you think it does. And a demo there in the midfield by Blaster is going to set the Lightning in an awkward spot. Yeah, we're going to have to see the Lightning here try and make it back to the ball. They do so. Richard trying to put it mid for his teammate, but he's going to actually take the shot. And that will tie, or that won't tie the score. That's going to make the score three to one. Beautiful play by Richard to keep control of the ball over the last defender. Goldfish going for the demo, but it really wasn't necessary in that position because Richard had him beat by a country mile. That man had absolutely no chance. The awkward positioning there by Brandon. I mean, I don't know. It's really off. We're we're almost three minutes into a little over three minutes into this game now, and Brandon is looking extremely shaky to me. And that might be a weak point that the Lightning can capitalize on because right now his positioning is just not looking as strong as it did in the last series. Yeah, this is not what we want to see from Brandon if we are a fan of the Blizzard. That being said, if you're a Lightning fan, you might be excited about this as the Lightning are actually now having to defend Ooh. from Brandon. Blaster's going to shoot one. Goldfish is going to knock it away. Gets a good save, and Richard to follow it up, trying to get it back down to the Blizzard side, but it will get knocked back towards Goldfish, and Goldfish will get bumped by Brandon. Brandon starting to pick up the pace here with Blaster shooting, and that makes the score 2-3. to three. Yes, the thing about doubles that I don't like, but these players do, is that it's a lot more mechanical, and a ghost touch and a half out there by the lightning that's unfortunately and a double commit too so casper and his friends definitely helping out the blizzard in that situation they got 60 seconds and one left to go they need one to keep their dreams alive for game one but this is a best of seven they're not really game one you drop it not a big deal you can drop game one and still go back and on win the series you see the last series between the elite and the tyrants they did drop game one. Goldfish getting back to recover that. Brandon unable to keep it keep it down. And like I was saying, you can drop game one and still go on to win the series. It's just, this is a feeler game. The teams have to feel each other out. They played each other twice before. The series record is 1-1, like I said. This just seeing how they feel out. Trying to get those nerves under control and settle into your seats. Yeah, here we're going to see Brandon trying to take it in front of the Lightning's goal. Not quite able to get it there. Blaster, though, with a great pass to Brandon. Brandon not quite able to capitalize on that one fresh. Uh, what's something Brandon can try and do differently looking towards the next match? Um, definitely hit that. That was a beautiful shot by Richard. Not even going to lie. The control. Wow. So we know Richard's good in the air. And Brandon is a little bit slow to rotate and looking a little, he's almost looking a little bit uncomfortable. You don't want to, you don't want to get in your head too much, right? You kind of just need to, to settle in and relax. Yes, it's conference finals and there's a lot on the line, but if you let that get in your head too much, you're going to do yourself more harm than good. So just kind of relax. And it looks like, you know, point wise, he had what five or six more ball touches than his teammate, but Richard on the other on the other side of the coin Richard is absolutely dominating the field four saves five shots two goals man is everywhere and anywhere he is the flash for the lightning right now and excuse my pun but I had to make it it is just an absolute dominating force on the field there no absolutely Richard making a massive difference I cannot help but thinking of that last goal he made what a way to end the first game of the series and what a beautiful shot just comes out of nowhere with what an amazing air dribble. Good job to the Lightning for getting the first game in this series. Also, this is a reminder. For those of you that are new, for those of you that don't know, Play of the Week is still a thing. It came back. We brought it back with MLE's weekly podcast of Open Net 
it is a thing. If you see something that you think is clip worthy, that you think should be entered as a play of the week, a top tier play for players, hit exclamation point P O T W in chat. And that will give you a link to submit your play of the week. And already right off the bat, the lightning are here leaving the ball. Blaster's going to take this up, trying to go for an air dribble. Gets blocked by Richard. Goldfish going to control this in his own half. And the, the the Blizzard, they just need to be more. They just need to be more controlled. The nerves are kind of worked out now. You've had a game to get yourself under control, but you cannot concede goals like that. Richard just absolutely 45. The ever living daylights out of the Blizzard defender, and that is the, that is the goal. Eight seconds into game two. Yeah, it seems like such a simple goal here for the lightning uh however obviously it was a good enough goal to get him the point he just caught it flicked it not much you can do but we're only 20 seconds into the match and if you are a blizzard fan that is not what you want to see brandon though is doing exactly what you would like to see getting it downfield for his teammate his teammate shoots but it got saved it didn't give a save to any of the players that i can see but it looks like Richard's going to take control, and we know how dangerous Richard is when he has the ball blaster taking it up. And then now Goldfish is going to end up with it, and he is going to take it over to the Blizzard side. Richard to follow him up, put it towards the mid. Let's see if he can get the pass out, and it's not quite going to go in from Richard. The Brandon's here trying to race back to that to get it on net. He's working. He's getting a little bit more comfortable now. A double commit there from the Lightning might cost them. No, they managed to 50 it out all the way back down to the Blizzard end, where they're going to try and cop it up. Have it on the offense now, trying to get back the other way, looking for a touch out in front of net. Both Lightning are up again for that. And it almost looks like the communication on the Lightning half is just not great. And I, I just see a lot, a lot of double commits. Maybe it's just a double sing. You know, because I'm not really a doubles player, but I'm seeing a lot of double commits. And this is Master League. These guys are G, should be roughly, give or take, GC1 and higher. You know, these, they shouldn't be really, you know, these, these are like academy level mistakes that I'm seeing come out of both teams. And they're going to need one of these teams that works that out is going to absolutely steal the show and take everything for the win. Here comes Richard off the ceiling. Oh, gets read by Brandon and got that position taken away very quickly. Yeah, that's one issue whenever you go for something like an air dribble or a wall or a ceiling shot is whenever someone reads it, all they have to do is go for the ball. Brandon here, however, potentially making a little bit of a redirect towards his own net, but Blaster's going to save it. And now we have Richard with the ball again with the pass to Goldfish, but Goldfish gets saved from Blaster. Wow, that play fresh had me singing a million miles a second, and now it's going to get cleared back downfield, and Richard is racing back to try and defend. Yes, my I clenched on that shot because that was very close. The Lightning just throwing it down into the blizzard end, trying to get some time built up to get some boost and set up for another offensive play, but Blaster's going to control this all the way down right into the corner, pinches it off the corner, tries to get it off the backboard. Richard is already there, but Goldfish takes it away. And Goldfish, awkward, decides to leave it. Goes for a demo, gets Blaster. Goldfish, trying to get back, has very low boost. Can't Richard can't get in front of that. Goldfish barely getting away with that one. And it's just really, really back and forth. No team really able to, to capitalize on anything or get any really quality shots. Again, the shots are very, very even. These teams are very evenly matched. Yeah, I definitely agree. That, like, we... I, I think I've mentioned it several times now, but this match has been an absolute brawl. We're in game two, and the score is one to zero, and we are almost over with this match. And the fact that it's been so low scoring shows how close this, this matchup actually is. And now we're going to see Blaster try to go off the wall and make a shot. Richard is going to receive it and take it back downfield and takes a shot off the wall. Go ahead, Fresh, and tell us what just happened. Uh, knock, knock, nobody's home. The blizzard looking more like a light snowfall there in early December. Just not, you cannot be making mistakes like that. Have nobody home. Doubles up is one man up, one man back. And like I said, those double commits and over committing are going to be the death of whatever team has it. 
And just to go show there, the Lightning putting up yet another goal. They've got 60 seconds, and their dreams are quickly fading. Goldfish just puts another win over the defender. The Blizzard are not looking good. No, if you are a Blizzard fan, you might be getting worried because normally we've been seeing Richard pop off for this Lightning team, but now even Goldfish getting some points on the scoreboard, making himself dangerous. Here he is receiving the ball. However, Brandon is going to go ahead and demo him. Richard making a pinch off his own backboard to get a clear and he's going to follow it up very nicely as he gets it in front of the net but Brandon's going to knock it away Goldfish here to receive puts it in front of the goal but Brandon to knock it off of the backboard and now we're going to see Goldfish go up for the save he gets it with the shot from Blaster Blaster is going to try and get another shot here let's see if he can do it not quite uh Fresh, this has been so back and forth, even with the score of 3-0. to zero, After those two goals uh, were scored, we immediately saw both teams come back and start going at it again. For example, Blizzard just scored again, or just scored. Well, this is a key goal, Bear, because this is a momentum moment, right? You go down three, you drop game two. Now you're down two in the series, and you got to win at least two in a row to force, uh, you know, to go to game... Well, this is a best of seven, so you really want to win three in a row to really force game game seven. But this is that was a momentum shifting goal. Is it too little, too late? Yes, you got four seconds on the clock. Blaster trying to come out with some fancy mechanics and put one in, but that was huge for the blizzard. It's going to that is that is what's going to help your mentality. That's what's going to help you get a better mindset and start off on the right foot in game number three. No, I absolutely agree with you there. You know, you need the momentum if you want any chance at getting a win. Because if you have no momentum, you have almost no chance of winning. But if you have the momentum, it's just natural that it's going to flow forward and you're going to keep scoring and you're going to eventually win the series. Yeah. Look at, look, I do want to point something out in particular, though. The scoreline between Blaster and Brandon right now. 603 to just under 200. And then look at the score line between the Lightning, right? 569 to 474. Is Richard playing or having a little bit more of an impact? Yes. But Blaster is out here trying to solo the Lightning. And Brandon, like we said in game one, is just either shaky, falling behind. Maybe it's nerves. Maybe it's pressure. Something is not clicking, right? So Brandon needs to find more ways to get involved, to be part of the play, to be in the right place at the right time so that he can help generate that offense or be supportive on defense or just be a general threat. Because in game two, Bear, he was not. Yeah, that being said, he did get some good clears and even some good saves. However, hopefully we will see some more out of Brandon and maybe he can help a little bit more oh on getting... Oh my goodness! That was a little dirty there. I need to take a shower, Bear. Redirect from the wall. You can't get any better placement than that. Goldfish just styling on him right now. Yeah, if we, we were just talking about what we need to see here from this, uh, this Blizzard team. However, first of all, we need Goldfish to calm down to even give him a chance because if Goldfish keeps doing that, we might be in a dangerous position here for this Blizzard team. Whew, that one went off the post. That was almost a pinch goal. Brandon there getting a really good clear, but can he follow up on it? He doesn't have any boost, but Blaster's there. Nobody's home for the Lightning, and they tie it up quickly. There's a good insurance goal, a momentum goal. You bring the scoreline back down to 0-0, you're still in it. You drop two games, but that doesn't mean you can't come back and take two in a row. Yeah, and you know, that was a good example of the blizzard taking advantage of a mistake from the lightning you don't get any mistakes from the lightning but whenever you see a mistake you have to take advantage of it blaster that time taking advantage of the mistake and making sure that they got the gold to go along with it oh goodness go the, ahead the, fresh the, the lightning arch lightning struck twice here is the second goal in game three and just just again i don't know what's up with with brandon but sitting in the middle of the goal like that you gotta be sitting back post otherwise he's gonna shoot it over you 
you're going to be too close and not have enough time to react or even get to that. Now, granted, granted, that was a heater from Goldfish. That was hard to react to to begin with. But you know what? I'm done. I'm done casting. They just shut me up every time. This, oh my good, I, Fresh, I don't even know what to say because the goal we were just talking about happened right off a of kickoff. And now we're seeing another goal that just happened right off a of kickoff, but for the other team. So what in the world is happening, Fresh? Why do we keep seeing these kickoff goals? That's been half of the goals scored this series, it feels like. I, I almost feel like what I want to call death's grip has finally settled in on the blizzard where they're like, hey, we are down two games. We need to come up with something and fast. And the lightning, the lightning struck hard, but the blizzard are somehow still standing. The blizzard are clawing their way back and fighting to stay in it. Now, they're not really leading. They're returning, they're, they're answering goals but they're not leading. They have yet to lead in the series. So we'll, we'll see how, if this momentum can keep up, you know, if the Lightning can withstand the amount of pressure that they're putting on, which doesn't really look like a whole lot of massive pressure, but the Blizzard are claw clawing their way back. Yeah, you're very, very much right there. Blizzard, it does seem like they're clawing their way back. Every goal that the Lightning has scored. Blizzard responds and they almost got the first lead of the series as we saw that shot coming out from Brandon, but it is going to end up going over to the Blizzard side with some good clears from the Lightning team. Blaster here is going to save it from the feared Goldfish and he's going to try and follow it up. Brandon going to the back corner, ready to get a clear, almost gets demoed but escapes it and gets a good clear out to the lightning side. Now he's setting up for his teammate, seeing if Goldfish is going to catch it. He will and get a good shot going back the other way. Fresh, we need, if you want the Blizzard to have any chance with this match, we're going to have to see a momentum change to where they're Ooh. actually in the lead. So what would you say needs to happen? Well, I, what I, I will say this. I've noticed this. We made a comment about Brandon constantly pushing on offense with no boost. And... Well, that still seems to be the case sometimes, but on the times that he does manage to pick up some pads or pick up a corner or a mid on the way to offense, he's been doing a lot better. So if you want to if you want to put pressure on this Lightning team, you got to have boosts on offense. And Brandon, when he has boosts, he's been contributing, but it almost looks like he's been struggling to get it or he's missing it. I don't really know which one it is because, again, I'm flat too. I wouldn't know anything about anything, but... That needs to be something that the Blizzard consistently do because the Lightning, their main, their, they have boost superiority right now. They are, they are never on the offensive third with less than 60. It is, it is absolutely devastating to the Blizzard defenders. Yeah, and that is one major impact of the whole game of Rocket League is your boost conservation and are you in, in your ability to still boost from the opposing team. And it seems like Lightning has done very well at doing that against Brandon. I like what you were saying. He is very, very powerful and useful whenever he has boost. But everybody who plays Rocket League knows that it is difficult to attack or defend without boost but that i'm sorry to interrupt myself there but what an amazing challenge from goldfish there to get some offense started again for the lightning that man really pulled out his pull out his phone in the pocket and set a reminder for saturday at 9 36 central and said challenge blaster in the air because he jumped for that yesterday he was already up and in the midfield before blaster even left the ground just absolute absolute god tier reads from goldfish puts another one off the side post there gets 50 out into the blizzard corner goldfish again jumping up for this wow. early and gets one in with 27 seconds left on the clock the lightning are looking to take game three he just pulled the same move out that he just used a second ago against uh oh what was who was it blaster right uh with that with that challenge so what an amazing shot and like you were saying he he's reading this and he knows where that ball is going and he is proving that by the how how eager he is to go up for it so uh, just uh, it's just amazing here from the, these teams yes the lightning here they're playing on cloud nine they're about to be on match point with seven seconds left goldfish is going to try and get something up the blizzard need to capitalize blaster has the ball on top of his car 
He can't get it past the last defender. Goldfish knocks it off the ceiling. Blaster's got full boost. Brandon gets it off the backboard. Goldfish knocks it out. The Blizzard are desperately looking for something to keep it in. They gets it out to the midfield, and the Lightning are going to let that one drop to take game three and bear. The Lightning are one win away from MLE Master League Grand Finals. You are very correct. Richard there making the smart move. He, he was in a position to catch the ball. He lets it drop because he realized that if he lets it drop and doesn't keep it in the air, that's one less game he has to worry about for them to score and one less game that he has to win later on to make it to next week's finals. So, so exciting there from the Lightning. They're one game away. Everybody wants to be in that situation. So, uh, a good job to Goldfish and Richard getting there. Yeah, they are, they are playing peak Rocket League for Master League right now. They are flowing as a unit. They are cohesive. Again, this time, last game, it was Richard that was being the heavy hitter. This time, Richard said, you know what? I've occurred enough PTO for this series. I'm going to take a vacation. Kind of sat, it's kind of sat in the back line, and Goldfish is like, all right. And he absolutely took the torch and ran with it. 829 points, three goals, three saves, five shots. Mans is an absolute all-over-the-field legend. He is just here. He is there. He is everywhere that he needs to be, and he's putting a massive amount of pressure on this. Now, this outcome, match point. The, the Blizzard are about to get clean swept if they don't take this game and force a game five. But the Lightning are coming in at the second seed and the Blizzard are coming in the fifth seed. This is one of the only leagues that the Blizzard were not the number one seed in. So it's it's I guess you could say it's not a rock thing this season because the Blizzard all over the league at every level has dominated in this season to see them come out and get clean slept by the lightning it was not in anybody's mle bingo card but here comes goldfish putting one in and yet again the lightning have scored in the first 10 seconds of the game as they have done every game for this entire series yeah and it, exactly right it, they've been doing it this entire time lightning again are in the lead like they have been for most of this series they're just continuing that those early goals. They've gotten so many early goals fresh. It is ridiculous. Here's Goldfish again trying to get another another goal, another clear. Richard putting it off the ceiling. Goldfish deciding to retreat here as Blaster is trying to make a possession play. Goldfish and Richard both going for that, but it ends up working out. Anyways, Goldfish going for the double Woo! tap, but it does not quite reach the net. What a good play from him, though. We all kind of hoped that that worked out so that it could be a play of the week. Yeah, the the the. let me tell you, the Lightning are so comfortable right now in their setting that Richard switched presets mid-series. That's typically not something you see on unless it's one of two extremes. You're so well set in your series and so confident that you don't care what you play in or you are playing so terribly you're going to change your preset and see if the little cues don't help you play a little bit differently or a little bit better. Blaster coming in, double tap down in the blizzard. They answer back with 338 left on the clock. Yeah, this is what we saw a lot last game actually is lightning scored and then blizzard scored. And then lightning scored and then blizzard scored. This is an example of Blizzard scoring. The question is, can they keep that up and continue to score? Or is it going to go back to the Lightning? And are the Lightning about to just go back in the lead like they have been? Yeah, the Blizzard are being held under the water by the... Ooh! And for the first time this series, Brandon scores and the Blizzard have a lead in Game 4. Yes, and that is exactly what you want to see if you are a Blizzard fan. Brandon coming in clutch here for the first lead of the series for the Blizzard. The question is, is it too late for a reverse sweep? Or is it possible for them to get the reverse sweep and take the win? Or are we just going to see Lightning return the goal? Only time will tell, Fresh. And as it's currently looking... It looks like Blaster and his good old friend Brandon are doing very good at keeping possession. However, it was just cleared over to the Blizzard side. Yep. Here come the Lightning. Richard's got it up the wall. He's going for an air dribble. Going for a 50 on the backboard. Blaster controls, but Brandon elects to knock it away. Oh, 
They've got, a, they've got a good play. Brandon has boost, which is what we like to see. Trying to get control it. He's looking to just make some kind of opportunity. I don't even know what he's doing, and I'm having trouble casting it. But Blaster waiting very patiently in the midfield there to keep it in. And the Lightning have it here in their own corner. Richard trying to wait, play very slowly. And it's very, you know what? It's really hard to cast y'all when y'all play like at five miles an hour. It's, it's, it's very difficult. <laughs> Yeah, we're seeing this Blizzard team here trying to waste all the time possible. They finally have the first lead they've had all, all the entire series. And so they're really trying to play it out, make sure that this Lightning team does not have a chance to score. Blaster, however, going up for a great uh, hit downfield. But it, the, the, the goal is finally returned from the Lightning to the Blizzard. Richard getting a nice shot. Boost over ball brandon you cannot go for that corner when the shot is incoming you had no time to get to that you got to pick up those pads and immediately go for it and unfortunately it cost the blizzard their lead they're still tied at two they're still in this but now if they want to win game four and stay in this series they need to get another one here quickly and the lightning doing the same thing playing slow Holding possession, Goldfish here going for an air dribble off the off the sidewall. Um, gets a pinch off the corner. Richard knocks that back into the corner. Gets it over one, gets it over two. Tries to get a double tap. Blaster is there waiting. Goldfish takes the challenge. And Brandon here going to bang it all the way down to the lightning backboard where Goldfish is going to try and get it. Ooh, and Blaster tries to get it. Or sorry, correct me. Brandon tried to get it over the last defender, but unfortunately to no avail. Goldfish keeping this in. Brandon waiting patiently for it to come down to the midfield. Richard gets 50 by Brandon, loses it there. Blaster is up for this. Goldfish keeps it out, and the Lightning refuse to give up another lead to the Blizzard. They're like, nope, this is done. We're not doing this. We let you have your fun for all of 1 minute and 38 seconds. It's our time now. We're going to take this back. Yeah, Lightning here with <coughs> just under a minute remaining, trying to make sure that there is no leads going to the Blizzard. However, that was such a close goal. I almost started to say that uh, our good old friend Blaster had already scored, but it's not quite going to be in. And that shot from Richard, not quite in. It will be saved from Blaster. Now it's going to go back towards the Lightning side of the field. Richard here to receive it. And a Blaster goes for the 50 there. Good job by him. But Richard's still just taking control. Puts it on. And Blaster not quite able to get the save with about 20 seconds remaining. Yeah, you know he's going to flick you. Your teammates behind him. Do you challenge? Do you not? Do I stay or do I go? Oh, oh, oh. What do you do? Gets beat as the last defender. Concedes a goal with 20 seconds left. The Blizzard can still get this. It is retainable. And it looks like, oh, they're going to put a really good opportunity on net there, but they're not going to get anything. Blaster gets a demo. One Lightning player back, but unfortunately, it's King Richard. Richard here has it. Six seconds on the clock. Four now. Goldfish misses. Richard to the corner. One second left. The Blizzard get an unfortunate mistouch out to the midfield, and the Lightning are headed to the Grand Finals. Congratulations to this ML Lightning team. They have made it to the dreamed about event of the finals. So, I mean, everybody wants to make it to the grand finals fresh. And this this Lightning team, you know that they are just absolutely shining with excitement. And it's like all of their hard work has finally paid off. So good job to them. I am, I guarantee that they're, they're just beaming with joy after this match. Oh, I would be too if I was headed to MLE Grand Finals. But the best thing I love about this right now is that some of you probably can't see it on the stream, but there's GG's all around, good sportsmanship. The Blizzard telling the Lightning to GG baby, go win it, I love you. The camaraderie between the teams, even though the Blizzard just got clean swept by the Lightning after coming all this way, the still the 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 no angry the no the no toxic environment that this league creates is just well well being all around but bear that is it for us tonight i do believe that was the last series for emily's main network you have any closing thoughts for us my friend 
Man, I, I don't really have too many. I will see y'all next week. I'm sure everybody, I mean, I know I'm going to be tuned in to watch the Grand Finals. So, if nothing else, we will see y'all next weekend, uh, as well as tomorrow. We still have a whole nother stream tomorrow. So, uh, just keep watching, and and uh, we'll see who else makes it to the Grand Finals. I mean, I requested it off of work so that I don't have to worry about coming home from work and casting. So I know I'm going to be there. The question is, where will you be with MLE Grand Finals Champions of Season 14? We will see you tomorrow night.